in this recording, we're going to uh, look into how we would enter data into the um, form. And so I'm going to open the uh, orders form here. And you'll note that we have a form that probably looks like yours. Uh, we have the drop down box and all those sorts of things. And so um, the first thing we can do here is to um, open a new record uh, for a new order. And uh, there are two ways to do that. The simplest way is to take your mouse and put it over on the uh, orders form, not the sub form here, but the orders form the, to the bottom and put it over this um, arrow pointing to the right that has a little bit of yellow by it. And you see it says new blank record and you click that and it opens a new um, order. The order ID up there says new and what happens there is that when we enter data in it will create that new order ID for us. And so I'm going to pick a um, customer there and I'm going to put in an order date and uh, put NA for notes on this one. I need some uh, titles uh, so we open the title and I'll pick two of them PS 2091 and 1372 so uh, PS oops 2091 and PS 1372. I probably got that wrong. Anyway, so let's let's look at that again just for fun. 1372. Okay, 2091. All right, so we got those right. And I need quantities here, so I put two and three, and that's it. All I have to do is move to a new line in the subform, and it automatically saves it. Now then. Uh, if you want to get a little fancier, so that's how you order, that's how you enter the orders. If you want to get a little bit fancier, then make the, the form a little bit bigger and create some room here. I'm going to show you how to do something brand new. Uh, and leave this uh, really where, leave everything else pretty much where it is. And if you're worried about saving um, uh, these orders, then let's go click, right click in the form orders, the header bar, and go to design view and get rid of the property sheet. And um, you'll notice that kind of makes that uglier, but let's move the form footer down a little bit, just like that. And we have this um, white box here that says table dot order detail. All that is is the um, our subform for the orders, and what we want to do is bring in a command box or button here. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, when I go to in Design View, it shows Design and the Form Design Tools here. It shows you see that at the top. I'm going to click on Button, and then I'm going to draw a button in here. And it asks me what it is. It brings up the command button wizard. It asks me what I want to do. And I'm going to click on record operations. And then I click on save record. And I'm going to click next. And I'm going to click on the text for save record. You can also use a picture if you want to. And you click next. And I do CMD for command and then save for the name of it. And I click finish. And there I have a save record button. Now I'm going to do one more here, which is click button here and come down here and put one right beside it. And again, a record uh, operation. And I want to add a new record like uh, it's highlighted there. We click next. I'm going to click text and leave the add record there. And then I'm going to, for here, I'm going to type CMD and then ADD for add, click finish, and so that put that right next to it, and I'm going to go up to the top and click, click save, and I'm going to go up here again, I'm going to click form view, and there you see we have a um, their save record and add record. So if I click add record, then you'll see that it does the same thing as I did when I clicked my new blank record down there, it changes it to three of three, so I have the third order. Um, Click a down button, document, order date, 313, 2013, um, title ID, PS, 
seven, 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 and I want three of those. And uh, PS three, 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 and I want three. Oops, three of those. And then I can click Save Record, and it's saved. And there you are. That's how you add records. And that's the end of this little talk.